Well, thanks very much for your time. We are just uh, looking at Sassel and it's done pretty well in a very tough environment. Mm. And you warned again today that it's a lower for longer type mm. environment and that you've done quite a lot of, taken quite a lot of actions mm. to be aligned to that lower for longer oil price environment. Mm. Can you take mm. us through what you've done and what you're still planning to do? So a few years ago, we started to think about, about the future and, and trying to arrest costs. And, and so we went into the business performance and improvement program uh, with a very robust uh, challenge on everything we do and how we do it. We changed the operating model and, and we set the company up in a different way. And, and, and that's where the initial savings targets of at least 4.3 billion comes from. And, and we're on track with those. In fact, we're exceeding our targets in the short term. Uh, and, and just as we were getting towards the sort of business end of that process, um, the, the, the low oil price um, and the, the developments around the oil price, at the back end of the last calendar year. Um, and then in January this year, we, we reviewed our thinking in, in, in terms of what we're going to do with an even lower oil price. So it's in the context of that response plan where we've been able to extract um, even more, more cost savings. And some of those cost savings, we believe, will be sustainable. And in firm numbers, you, you're wanting to save off the base uh, 4.3 billion over a certain period. With the response plan, you think there's another billion worth of savings, sustainable savings. Is that correct? We, we, we're targeting to, to, to have about a billion rand of that on top of the 4.3 as being sustainable savings, yeah. And then just a Southern African view. You've got a major aspirations in Mozambique to grow that platform. Mm. You've got a field development plan before the authorities at the moment. What are you looking at there in terms of growth and what impact could it have on South Africa's energy mm. equation, both in terms of power supply and more gas? Well, there's quite a lot of uh, unknowns in, in the questions that you're asking. But, but yes, we've submitted a, a field development plan. And if it's approved, it'll pave the way for, for an integrated oil, LPG and gas project. Um, gas to power will play a role there as well. And, and, and if it is approved, we'll also try to move forward on our fifth train at, at our central processing facility. So we think it, it will bring benefits to, to not only the Mozambique, uh, country, uh, but also to, to South Africa, um, and, and we'd like to to see that growth in in the gas in the gas value chain uh, unfold. Also on gas, but on gas to power, obviously we know South Africa mm -hmm. is a very uh, electricity scarce country mm. at the moment. Mm. Uh, there's a view that gas uh, could play a big role in the energy mix, uh, maybe mm. as a bridging technology uh, before more big coal and big nuclear come in. What is uh, Cecil's view around, you're already producing gas to power, mm -hmm. but what is your future view on gas to power in this region? Uh, as you say, we, we're already producing gas to power, uh, relatively speaking, on a, sm a smaller scale than, than what is envisaged with a, a gas to power development that, that we're very excited about. So, so we're working together with other industry players. Uh, we believe that gas to power uh, is a very, very real possibility going forward. Um, it would it would result in a fairly big base load of, of gas coming coming off uh, of a regas facility. Exactly where that will be based in the country, that's not final yet. Uh, there, there's potential opportunity to do gas to power, but also to bring gas into the network uh, and to augment the the gas supply to the to the gas industry in South Africa. So so that's still relatively early days, um, but we, we really are very excited about that as a possibility. Going into the next few years, LNG, you know, the gas prices are, are, are potentially going to support such a, such a development uh, because we, we anticipate that the prices probably be a bit low.